Hey guys, good evening. How's it going, guys? Welcome, Adrian. Hello, Davey. Hey, how are Hello, you? Hello, how are you? Really good? I'm good, man. How about you? So How's far, everything? so good. So far, so good. So far, so good. All right, right. great. Good to hear that. Marcos, welcome, Marcos. Hello. How's everything? Good evening. Man? Everything fine, and you? Everything is great. Awesome. Nice. All right. All right, uh, Rafa, how's it going, Rafa? Everything good? Hi, David. Fine. Still driving. All right. Nice, nice, nice. And Frank, welcome back, Francisco. Hello. Good evening, man. All right, guys. Anyways, uh, I'm glad that you're here, guys. So, how how was everything? How was everything today? How was good your evening, day? Guys. Good evening, Rafa. What do you do today, Rafa? Yeah, I came out late from work. <laughs> but it, okay. But uh, I I was in the at the office. Okay. So, um, so everything good? Work was good. Yeah, everything. Uh, yes, every everything everything's okay and since since got the the day uh, over with no all right all right I'm glad that you're here Frank how was work today Frank it was great and today was my short day and I felt a little bit tired and. I took a nap. <laughs> All right. Like three hours. That's great. <laughs> that is just great, man. All right, guys, let's get started, okay? All right. So uh, thank you guys for being early today. We're going to talk about relative clauses today, right? However, guys, we're going to focus on relative pronouns. I needed to learn what the relative pronouns are, so that's why we're going to talk about relative clauses. All right. So let's get started, guys. So what's the objective for today? Um, well, can somebody help me read here? Me? Hello, Maria, Belen. Let's go. Okay. By the end of this class, participants will learn to use relative clothes in order to join two ideas into one. Very good, guys. Okay. So thank you very much, Maria Belen. All right. Thanks a lot. So we're gonna learn, guys, what a clause is. Uh, we're gonna learn about relative pronouns and relative clauses, and we're gonna have some practice at the end, okay? So let's get started, okay? First of all, guys, okay, let's get some vocabulary because you're gonna use this vocabulary, you know, uh, you're gonna use this vocabulary as we progress through the platform, okay? All right, so we're gonna be, uh, uh, I want everybody's participation, guys, because we need to, you know, we need to cover section one and two uh, real quick, right? So. Um, take a look at the vocabulary, guys. Let's repeat, and then I'm gonna ask you what type of adjective or you know what what type of uh, personality you think you have. Okay. All right. So the first one, how do we pronounce this? Egotistical. Egotistical. Very good. Okay, everybody. Egotistical. 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 Okay. All right. Who's who, who's an egotistical person here, guys? Who's an egotistical person here? Cristiano Ronaldo. All right, all right, all right. The the humility of Cristiano Ronaldo, right? He no, he's humble. He's super humble, right? Super humilde, right? That's Cristiano Ronaldo, right? <laughs> all right, egotistical guys is someone. How can you define this? Egotistical is someone, guys, who thinks that everything, you know, everything spins around uh, around them, you know. So someone who thinks like everything is about me okay someone who doesn't like to share things too okay that, that that's an egotistical person right are you an egotistical person all right okay Hello. All right. hey how do you know no. are, are, are you married let me ask you something are you married who's married here raise your hand okay do you share your husband or wife <laughs> see there you're an egotistical person right <laughs> yes all right. Anyways, 
All right, very good, guys. Stingy, okay? Everybody, do, the, do, do me a favor. Do this, okay? Stingy. All right, stingy. You know what that is, right? It means that stingy. your elbow is dirty, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> now, uh, all right, stingy, guys. Stingy is someone who doesn't like to spend too much money on anything, right? Like, if you go out, if, if that person goes out with their couple, you know, then uh, they wouldn't like to share anything, you know, they wouldn't share, they wouldn't like to, to pay extra. Do my favorite, guys, everybody show me your notebooks and your pens, guys, because you should be taking notes, by the way, all right? Everybody show me your notebooks and your pens, please. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, very good. Thank you, guys, all right? If you don't have it, guys, okay, I need you to have a notebook and a pen, right? Go get it right now, okay? Sociable, right? So who's a social person here? Sociable? Sociable has the same meaning in Spanish, you guys, okay? Someone who likes to hang around with people. Got it? All right. Everybody, easygoing. Repeat, guys. Easygoing. 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 Right. Easygoing, guys, is kind of like saying sociable, okay? A person who is easy to talk to. All right. Is the so opposite if, the opposite of shy, right? Yes, kind of. It's the opposite of someone. You, you know, you know what we call here creídos, right? La gente creída, right? So this is the opposite, okay? All right. This is someone very, very sociable, very likable, right? All right. Are you an easygoing person? Do you think that you're yes. easygoing? Yes, I am. Yes. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. All right, temperamental. Repeat, guys. Temperamental. 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 All right. Now, who's a, a temperamental person, guys? Is someone who gets upset quite easily, okay? So who's a temperamental person here? Nobody? All right. Very good. Repeat, guys. Unreliable. Repeat, unreliable. 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 All right. So what's an unreliable person? What do you think? Is somebody that you can trust? You cannot, guys. You can't not, right? You cannot trust. Trust, mm -hmm. okay? So you can't trust that person, okay? That's an unreliable person, right? So, real quick, Marcos, what adjective best, best describes you? Out of all these adjectives, which one describes you the best? I think that is, is it going? Is it going, okay? So we say... Yeah. All right, so so notice something, guys, okay? Because this is related to clauses, guys, okay? I like people who are easygoing like Marcos, right? You, you're going to notice, guys, that we're using clauses here, okay? Now, uh, we're going to get back to this one, guys, okay? Adrian, right? What, what, so same question to you, Adrian. Excuse me, I... Same same Your question partner? to you. Which adjective uh, best describes you? Uh, let's say um easy going um, just just for the class, stingy. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, okay, right. So maybe, maybe, right? Maybe Monica doesn't like people who are stingy. Am I right? <laughs> All right, we're gonna get to we're gonna get there. Thank you, Marco. All right, Monica, all right, give me all right, which adjective best describes you? I now, you think, can think about other adjectives too, guys, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. I think sociable. All right, so okay, so we can say um, she likes, you know, people who are sociable. All right. Actually, let's change this, okay? That are sociable. All right, good job. Thank you, Monica. Oscar, give me your example. Uh, you're muted. Muted. Your microphone is disabled. Your your microphone is not working. <laughs> I don't like people that is temperamental. Okay, so I don't like people that are temperamental, right? All right, very good, guys. Okay, thank, thanks a lot, guys. Okay, I'm going to ask the rest uh, later, guys, for examples, but I want you to notice something here, guys. What is something that you find in common here? What is something that repeats 
Self, guys. The verb or like that are? The subject. Okay, this, not the subject, because the subject, right? We have, we have a subject here, okay? The pronoun. The pronoun. The adjective. The adjective, we're not repeating the adjective. I mean, we are repeating adjectives, right? So, but something that repeats itself here, guys, is this, this, see? Can you see that? That, that, and then, well, this and this. Do you see this? Yes? All right. And also the verb be, right? We also have the verb be, and then we have, you know, an adjective, right? So you're right about these. We have an adjective here, we have an adjective here, and we have an adjective here, okay? Hey, so what is all of this, okay? These right here, guys, is what we call, what do you think we call that? Birds. Holy guys? No, 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 not our, I'm sorry, guys, not this, so, so, so sorry. Not this, okay? This. Oh, Jesus. Hold on. This right here, guys, okay? This right here, okay? Who? All right, so these guys is what we call a relative pronoun. How do we call it, guys? Relative pronoun. Relative pronoun. Relative. All right, so there is a relative pronoun here, right? In the second sentence, we have the relative pronoun here. And where do we find, okay, let's talk about this sentence and this sentence here. Where do we find the relative pronoun over uh, on these sentences? That. That, okay, that and that, okay? All right, very good, guys, okay? So, I'm gonna mute you guys. Okay, all right, very good. So guys, just remember one thing, okay? Hold, hold on, I'm muting you guys because of the background noise. I'm sorry. Okay. So uh, just FYI, guys, for your information, all right? If I say, guys, that apple over there, let me ask you something. Is this a relative pronoun? Yes or no? No. 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 It's not working as a pronoun. Okay. All right, very good, guys. So that was a small warm up. Okay. So let's talk about a clause, guys, okay? A clause is really simple to identify, all right? It's really not complicated, guys. When we say clauses, you know, people think that it's over complicated, but it's not, all right? Um, let's go, Nuri, help me read what a clause is. Hi. Just, just read it. Uh a closest, a, a, group of, a close, a group of words containing a subject and predicate and, okay. mm -hmm. and functioning, I don't know, has a member of a complex or compute All right, repeat guys, okay, you're right. A clause, Close. 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 Right. Close. It, it's a group of words. It's a group, it's of, a word. group, of, group words. of words containing a subject and a predicate. Containing, containing a, a subject, subject and a predicate. Okay. And functioning as a member of a complex or compound sentences. In functioning, functioning as, as a member, member of, of a complex or sentence. sentence. All right, very good. All right, who understood this, guys? <laughs> This is this is, guys. I close to this, okay? I'm gonna make you. I make. I'm gonna make your life easier, okay? It's a subject. Well, hold on. First of all, it's a group of words, okay? Right? Like saying blah 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 blah. Right? This is a group of words, yes? Right? But it's a group of words, guys. And let me change the the color here. Hold on. It's a group of words that contains a subject, all right? And let me do orange here. And a verb, okay? We can also say predicate, guys, okay? But um, I'm not sure if you understand what, pred what a predicate is, okay? But anyways, guys, so this is, guys, to make your life easier, this is what a, a clause is. What is a group? What is a clause, guys? A group of words. Do me a favor, write it down in your notebook, okay? Because I'm going to ask you later, okay? So it's a group of words containing a subject and a verb. 
Now, let me ask you something, guys. If I say, I like apples, all right? If I say, I like apples, is this a clause? Yes. yes. Why is it a clause? Tell me why is it a clause? Because it has a, a subject and a verb. Very good, guys. Okay, where is the subject? I. I. I is the subject, okay? And where is the verb? Like. like, right? Easy peasy, right? Plus for you guys, okay? Wow, you know how to explain what a clause is now, okay? Easy, right? Now, let me ask you something, guys. A sentence, okay? A sentence is a whole idea, okay? All right? So don't get confused with this, okay? A sentence, guys, is a whole idea, okay? All right? So write this down, okay? Because I need you, I, I want you not to get confused with, you know, uh, with what a sentence is, okay? A sentence can have multiple clauses, okay? So this is like saying, guys, a sentence can have multiple groups, group, uh, groups of words that contain a subject and a verb. Got it? Okay, very good. So now let's take a look at this example, guys, okay? What if I say, take, take a look at the first example down here, right? Who, uh, let's see, Patricia, right? Patricia, do me a favor, Patricia, help me read the first example here. I graduated last year. One close sentence. Very good, okay? So let me ask you something, guys. According to this, okay, according to these guys, how many, how many clauses do we have here? How many clauses do you see here? I graduated last year. One. One. One, one clause. You only have one clause. How many sentences do we have? How many sentences do we have? One, two. One. Just one. You only have two, right? Very good. Take a look at this, all right? Um, let's see. Uh, Francisco, help me read, Frank. When I came here, I saw him. Very good. How many sentences do we have? Two. two. One. Two. Two. Two or one, guys. How many it's, sentences do we have? Is there is one, one sentence one, one because sentence. it's one uh, idea. idea. Exactly, guys. We have one sentence, okay? Now, think about this, okay? Sentences, guys, are, are usually going to be separated by periods, okay? If you see a period, that is the end of a sentence, pretty much. Got it? All right, that is the end of a sentence, guys. A sentence will be separated by a period, okay? Now, we have a comma here. Let me ask you something. How? So we have one sentence, right? One, guys, we have one. How many clauses do we have and why? Two. We have two clauses, okay? Which is the first clause? Where is the first clause, guys? When I came, when I came, I came here. here. When I came here, where's which is the second clause? I saw, I saw him. him. I saw him. I saw him. Okay. Hey, when I came here, I saw him. Cuando vine aquí, lo vi. Got it? Are we talking about the same idea? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Right. Yes. Okay. Very good. Take a look at this. Right. Third example. David, help me read. David. <laughs> when I came here, I saw him and he greeted me. Very good. When I came here, I saw him and he greeted me. How many sentences do we have? One sentence. One, one sentence. sentence. Only one. How many clauses do we have? Three. three. We have three clauses. Okay. Which are the three clauses that we have? When I came here, I saw him and he greeted me. Very good. Why are they clauses? Because they have a subject and predicate. All right, where's the subject of the first clause? I. I. I, okay. And then the, the main verb? Okay. Okay. Okay, very good. Okay, all right. So this is the reason why. Okay, so we have a clause here. Very good. All right, what about the, the second one? Where's the I, subject? I. I, all right. And where's the verb? So. 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 Very good. Okay, so we got two over here, right? There's another clause, right? What about this? Where's the subject? He. He. Great. All right. He. Very good. Okay. And what about the? Greeted is the the verb, right? The verb. Sorry. Okay. So we have we have another clause here. Okay. Easy, right? 
So we have three clauses, okay? All right, now guys, you understand what a clause is, right? Up to this point, guys, right. up to this point, you should have learned what a clause is. Hasta ahorita deberíamos de haber aprendido qué es una oración y qué es una clause. Got it? I have no idea how to say clause in Spanish, guys. I think it's clausula, but I'm not sure. Okay? All right, so far so good, guys? Yes, can we move on? Clear as tequila? Yes. Or clear as well, horchata de San Miguel? Take All right, very good. Yeah. Let's move on there, okay? All right. So we have, guys, okay, this is just a review, okay? We're not going to focus right now on independent or independent clauses, okay? I don't want you to get, um, you know, exhausted with this, okay? I, I just, I'll, we'll just review, guys, okay? Do a quick review, okay? So usually, guys, within clauses, okay, within clauses, we have two types of clauses, all right? So we usually have, guys, hold on, all right? So within clauses, guys, we have usually dependent clauses, and we have independent uh, clauses, okay? So, um, so the reason why it's important to understand what the difference between them two is is because because relative clauses have a lot to do with it with dependent clauses, guys. Okay. First of all, let's let's learn what an independent clause is, right? Haiti, would you please be so kind to help me read? An independent clause function on its own to make a meaningful sentence and look much like a regular sentence. Very good. Thank you, Heidi. Okay. Repeat, guys. Functions. Everybody, functions. 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 Very good. Functions. Not function. Functions. Okay. Well, function. that's it. All right. Very good. Functions. All right. So, guys, here's the thing. Okay. All right, an independent clause, guys, is like saying, I like apples. Why do I need more information? If I tell you, if imagine, guys, to determine if, it, if a clause is independent or not, imagine yourself running, you know, running on the street, okay? Imagine que estás corriendo la calle, right? So you're running, guys, you're running on the street, right? Right? And, uh, and then all of a sudden, you know, I see you and I say hi, right? Got it? Right, whatever. So I say hi, guys, okay? Right? So I say hi to you. And then I say, I like apples. You know? So I say, right? So I say over here, right? I like apples. Now, if I say to you guys, I like apples, would you understand what I'm talking about? ¿Entendés la idea de lo que estoy hablando? I like apples? Or, or, or is your brain asking, like, you know, I need more information? Do you understand or do you need more information? What do you think, guys? I understand it. I understand. Information. Very good, okay. Understand, yes. Okay, very good. If you understand, guys, okay, then it's an independent clause. Got it? Si voy a entender, sin necesitar más información, es una clause independent. Yes? Yes? Yes. Very good. Now, imagine this, guys, okay? I see you, you know, I see you on the street, guys, and, and I say, you know what? Because... Because I like you. If I say, guys, because I like you, si yo te digo, te veo en la calle, te digo, eh, porque me agradas. Do you understand what I'm talking about? No. No, no. no right? Okay. But is it a clause? Because I like you, is that a clause? Si yo te digo, because I like you, guys, is that a clause? Because I like you. Is this a clause, yes or no? According to the definition yeah. of what a clause is. De acuerdo yeah. a la definición de lo yes. que es una clause, guys. ¿Eso es una clausula, yes or no? Yes. 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 Yes, it is. yes, right? We have a subject and we have a verb, mm -hmm. right? But the idea no tiene sentido. Si yo te, digo, te veo en la calle y te digo, hey, porque me agradas. Right? It doesn't make sense, right? Yes? All right. But how about this, guys? What if I say that I bought for you? Is this a clause, yes or not? Yes, it is. Yes. Hey, but what, what happens, guys, if I see on the street and I say, hey, but I, uh, that I bought for you. What are you talking about? That you bought what for me? What are you talking about? See? So, those guys, those are part of of, um, of dependent clauses, okay? All right? So, an independent clause, guys, okay? An independent clause, if I say, guys, he's a wise man. Uh, why is it an why why is it an independent clause, Monica? 
sorry. <laughs> okay, if I say he's a wise man, why is this an independent class? He is a wise man. Yes, porque es una, una cosa independiente, that's what I'm asking. Because I understand the meaning. Exactly, because you understand the idea. Very good. Okay, good job. All right, Oscar. All right, I uh, like him. Uh, why is that an independent class? Independent class. Mm -hmm. Why is it an independent class? I like him. He's an uh, independent class, no? Yes, but why? Because I don't understand I like him. Okay. You why? don't or you do? I don't understand. You don't. Guys, if I say, I don't. me agrada, do you need more? Is your brain trying to figure out the rest of the information or not? Yes. Right. Take a look. Okay, this is independent, guys. Okay, si yo digo, me agrada, guys, no necesito más información, right? But if I say, that I like, que, que me agrada, que te agrada el que, right? You need more information. Got it? If you don't need more information, it's independent, guys, okay? All right, got it, Oscar? Got it, Oscar? Yes, yes, yes. yes. All right, uh, let's see, um, Patricia, all right? Next one, can you do it? Is it, uh, why is it independent? Can you do it? It's dependent, no. Is it dependent or independent? Dependent. Why? Because I need more information. If I ask you, hey, can you do it? No, you don't need more information. Guys, all right, all right, don't, don't get confused, okay? Usually, guys, an independent, a dependent clause will be, will start with a conjunction, okay? By, all right, a conjunction, guys, is, um, for example, saying for, but, you know, because, all right, etc. okay? So, when you hear something like this, guys, because, because she stole it. Porque se lo robó. Now, imagine that situation, guys. If I say, because she stole it. It doesn't make sense, guys. No tiene sentido que vos digas eso de la nada. Got it? Because she stole it. Yes? You need more information, okay? Yes. So, for example, you can say, I can't find my wallet. I can't find my wallet because she stole it. Got it? No puedo encontrar mi cartera porque ella se lo robó. Got it? Now here, guys, ahora sí se, 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 se oye con sentido. Se tiene que escuchar con sentido. Got it? You have to hear these guys with, uh, it has to make sense when you listen to it. Do you understand the part? Tiene que tener sentido. Guys. Si tu cerebro no puede descubrir qué estás diciendo, all right, then it needs something else. Yo solo te digo, ¿por qué ella se lo robó? Right? Hey, uh, hello, Oscar. ¿Por qué ella se lo robó? What are you, I, do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. No, you don't. No. Oh, what are you talking about? No, right? Because if I if I greet you and I say because she stole it, you know, you don't know what I'm talking about, okay? All right. So anyways, guys. So this is, guys, what we call a dependent clause, okay? All right? So dependent clause needs more information, okay? So you can take a screenshot of this, guys. Uh, it's basically just what I just explained, okay? Now, all right, take a look at this. Uh, let's uh, help me read, um, Adri, no, you know what, um, see, Tatiana, help me read the first example. When I was dating Dina, I had, I had an accident. Very good. When I was dating Dana, I had an accident. Now, how many sentences do we have here, guys? One. one. We only have one. How many clauses do we have? Two. Two. All right. Two. Let me ask Two. you something. Can you identify the dependent clause? Pueden identificar la clause, la clause dependiente. Can you identify the, the dependent clause? Let's see, Jose Chicas. In the first sentence, okay, where is the independent clause? Is it I had an accident or is it when I was dating Dana? Uh, I had an accident. That is independent or dependent? Uh, 
eh, sería dependent. Independent, very good. Okay, so the dependent clause is which one? Rodrigo Gonzalez, which is the dependent clause? ¿Cuál es la dependiente? Okay. ¿Cuál depende de otra clause para tener sentido? Uh, the first, the first, the first uh, sentence is dependent yes. uh, clauses. I had an accident. This is the dependent clause, guys. When I was dating Dana. All right. Porque este, guys, para que tenga sentido, necesita que tengas esto. Got it? I had an accident when I was dating Dana. When I was dating Dana, I had an accident. Okay? Got it? It's called dependent, guys, because it depends on another clause. Depende de otra cláusula para tener sentido. Got it? All right. Let's take a look at the second example. Um, thank you, Tatiana. All right, let's see Rafael Mayen. All right, Rafael, help me read the second one and let's identify the, the, the dependent clause. I know the man who stole the watch. Very good. Which one is the dependent clause? The dependent. Um, ¿Cuál depende? The, I know the man who stole the watch. Listen, listen, I'm going to say it in Spanish. Yo conozco al hombre. Y si te digo... Que robó, el, que robó el, el, el reloj. Que robó el reloj. Si yo te digo que robó el reloj. It, it seems like. Cuando, guys, cuando yo digo que robó el reloj. Se siente, guys. Como que estoy hablando la, la mitad de algo. Si vos sentís que solo te están diciendo la mitad de una idea. Es porque es dependiente. Got it? If I say, okay. conozco al hombre. No se siente como la mitad. Se siente como una oración verdadera. Yes? So that is dependent. Yes. Right? Si yo te digo que robó el reloj. Te falta, dude. Te falta información, right? Vos necesitas esa otra mitad de información, yes? Got it? Okay. So, yes, got it. which one is the dependent clause in that case? The I dependent. Who stole the watch, guys, okay? Who stole the watch. Very good. Uh, Marcos Escobar, right? Let's take a look at the third example and tell me which one is the dependent clause. Okay. He bought a car which was too expensive. Very good. Which yeah. one is the dependent clause? Dependent is which was too expensive. Very good. Okay, which was too expensive, right? Because it needs of another clause to make sense. All right. Uh, let's see, Maria Belen. Next one. He doesn't know where he was born. Okay. Dependent and clause. Dependent where he was born. Where he was born okay very good see you need of this clause okay it's like it's like your 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 ex toxic or toxic guys okay they need okay they're very needy so necesitados all right dependent the boss what depend the ellos got it so in your relationship guys let me ask you something in your relationship as a couple are you a dependent or independent clause <laughs> You have to be independent, right? <laughs> All right, very good, guys. Okay. All right. All right, so uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Who's missing, guys? Who hasn't participated? I think everybody participated already, huh? Uh, let's go with um, Rafael. No, no. Um, I don't know. Everybody participated. Uh, Adrian, Adrian, let's go. I won't go. No, this one right here. If you don't eat. If you don't eat, I won't go. I won't go, okay? Which one is the dependent clause? I won't go. No. Guys, which one needs another clause to make sense, guys? If you don't eat. If you don't eat, right? That needs some another idea to make sense, guys, okay? All right, guys, so that was a quick review, okay? This is uh, this is today's topic, guys, okay? So now that you know, guys, okay? All right, now you should be able to answer me a couple of things here, okay? First of all, first of, okay, uh, do you have any question, guys? Alguna pregunta, Sarita? Any questions? No? Okay, no. now, all right, up to this point, guys, you should be able to explain this, guys, okay? What is a clause, okay? Who can tell me what a clause is, guys? Esto ya se, ya se lo deben de saber. Necesita estar en su cuaderno ya deberían de haberlo aprendido. What is a clause? It's, it's a subject and a, and a verb. Mm, we're missing something there. What are we missing there? ¿Qué estamos eh, perdiendo y qué nos está faltando? What are we missing there? Group of words. 
Group, group of words. Okay. okay, right. So what is a class? Okay. All right, very good. Okay. A group of words with a subject and a verb. Okay, very good. All right. What is a dependent class? What is a dependent class? A clause that needs another one to uh, has a sense. All right, very good. Okay, la toxica or el toxico. Okay, all right, needed. Okay, they are needed, son necesitados. Okay, got it? All right, they need have another clause, right? Clause to make sense. Okay, very good. All right, very good, guys. Okay, applause for you. All right, well done. All right, good job. Okay. So this is what we have learned so far. Now, before we proceed with the exercise, guys, let's learn what we what what is a relative pronoun. First of all, all right, what is a pronoun? Can we put up on there? What is a pronoun? You need to know what a pronoun is already. Basic a English. substitute for a noun. Very good. Okay. Very good. A substitute. All right, of a noun. Very good. I love that explanation, man. For example, we can give an example of a pronoun. Of a personal you. pronoun, because we have many pronouns, guys. Personal pronoun. What is it? Mm -hmm. You. I. Okay. You. I. Very good. I. You. He. She. It. They. We. Etc. Right. Very good. This is a personal pronoun. Do you remember, guys? What is a um, possessive pronoun? My. Oh. I. Yours. Very good. Okay, it's like my, your, his, hair. Okay, etc. Right. Very good. Why am I bringing this up, guys? Because I want to tell you guys. I want to remind you that we have multiple pronouns. We have different types of pronouns. Yes. Okay. We have different types of pronouns. So guess what, guys? We have another category. Tenemos otra categoría. Which category do you think that is? Relative pronoun. Relative pronouns, guys. Relative pronouns, okay? Focus on the word pronoun, guys, because these work as pronouns. They work as? They work as? Connectors. They work as pronouns, guys. They work pronouns. as? Pronouns. Pronouns, okay? So they substitute a noun. They substitute what? Noun. 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 Okay, right. Let's talk about Cheyenne. All right. So, for example, guys, okay, let's say Cheyenne is a person. What does he do, guys? Castle. Sing. 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 Okay. So we have two ideas. Let's check this out. Cheyenne is a person, right? We know that he's a person and not a not an animal, right? All right. As far as I know, okay. And so he likes to sing, see? Now, check this out. What is the pronoun he substituting? Again, I'll repeat. What is the pronoun he substituting? What is the pronoun? Cheyenne, his name. Very good, okay. So I asked, what is the pronoun he substituting? Okay, que está sustituyendo el pronombre he, right? He is substituting Cheyenne, guys. Got it? Yes? Yes. Got it. Very good. All right. Let me ask you something. All right. We have, how many sentences do we have here? We have? Two. One sentence. Two. Two, two guys. Two. two sentences. These are two sentences. We have two clauses and two sentences, okay? But imagine, imagine people talking like this. Cheyenne is a person. He likes to sing. Who talks like that, guys? Okay? That is too overcomplicated, right? So we want to join the two ideas. Quiero unir las dos ideas, guys, okay? So what do I do? To join the two ideas, guys, I will, I will use a relative pronoun. So how can I join this? I can join it like this, guys. Check this out. Cheyenne is a person. Now, remember, guys, a relative pronoun substitutes a one, a what? Noun. Substitutes the noun, right? A noun, okay? Okay, so Cheyenne is a person, right? Then I'm going to use a pronoun now for people 
who Ooh. likes to sing. See? So basically, guys, what I'm doing is I'm using I'm joining the two ideas. Cheyenne is a person, he likes to sing, but instead of he, I'm using who. Got it? All right. Does that make sense, guys? Thanks. Okay. Yes. All right. So see, easy, right? So think about it like this, okay? You're joining, guys, two ideas together, okay? When a Cheyenne is a person, right? And down here in blue, okay. Who I'm sorry. Who likes to sing? Okay. Now here guys. David, I have uh, a question. Is who and and who is no. that's two or only who? Because that uh, used I'll, for people, thing and animals. Yes, I'll get there. I'll get there. Okay. Cheyenne is a person. Okay. Now notice, guys, okay, I am not separating these two, two, two ideas, right? Solo para mostrarles, guys, la, la he puesto así aparte, pero this is one sentence, okay? How many sentences do we have here, guys? How many sentences do we have here? One. one. Only one, okay? How many clauses do we have? Two. Two. We have two clauses. Why is this a clause? Porque eso es una, una clause, guys. What is the definition of a clause? Quickly. Because it has a certain... Where is the subject? Yes. Where is the subject? Don't the subject? Who? Who? Who, who, guys? Who? Because remember, guys, this is a pronoun. Por qué, guys? It's a pronoun. pronoun. Remember that all pronouns, guys, can be the subject of the sentence. Got it? Todos los pronombres pueden ser el sujeto de una oración. Got it? Yes? Got it. Is it clear, guys? Ahorita todo vamos bien. Yes? All right, very good. You're going to give me examples, guys, okay? Now, to answer your question, yes, we can also use that, guys. Instead of saying who, we can use, we can use that. Yes. So we can say, we can say, you know, instead of who likes to sing, we can say that no, likes like. to sing, okay? Very good. All right. Super good, guys. Do you want more examples? Do you yes, want more examples, yes. guys? Okay, very good. All right. All right, so uh, let's, you, you guys give me examples now, okay? Um, Jenny, welcome, Jenny, nice to see you. Nice to see you. I I was driving. Uh, nice, oh, okay. so you were the one sending me the message. Hey, that's yeah. a good example, see? But I listen. All right, listen, guys. You were the one who sent me, that, that's it, see, this is, what, this is how we use it in real life, right? You were the one who sent me the message. Right? So I'm talking about Jenny, right? Let's talk about Jenny. Jenny war, was or Jenny where, guys? Jenny was, right? So Jenny was the one who sent me the message. Okay. Very good, guys. So first of all, how many sentences do we have here? One. We only have one, right? One sentence, okay? All right, very good. One sentence, okay? Juan, Juan oraciones. All right, we have one sentence, right? Now, how many clauses do we have? Quantas uh, clauses do we have? Two. two. Raise your hand if you think it's two, guys. Raise your hand if you think it's two. Francisco, how many, how many, uh, how many, how many clauses do we have, Francisco? We have two clauses. Very good. Which, where is the first clause? Jenny was the one. Jenny was the one, very good. And then where's the second clause? Who sent me the message. Okay, who sent me the message, very good. Jenny was the one and then the second clause who sent me the message. Good job, plus for Francisco, guys. See, all right. So why, guys, why? Because I'm, I'm joining two ideas together, okay? What are the two ideas that I'm joining? ¿Cuáles son las dos ideas que estoy uniendo, guys? Joining Jenny was the one, right? And which is the other idea? Who sent me the that message? That she sent me the message. Okay. See? So we have, we have, um, guys, please take notes, okay? Because otherwise you're going to, you're going to forget, okay? So we have idea one and we have idea two. See? So instead of saying Jenny was the one, she sent me the message, right? All right, I'm, I'm joining them together and I'm saying Jenny was the one who sent me the message, okay? Another example, all right? Let's uh, have another example. Um, Ernesto, 
Give me one example, Ernesto. Do my favor, guys. Do my favor. Everybody do my favor right now, okay? I want I want everyone to send me one example right now. You're going to use you're going to use what or you I mean uh, you're going to use who or you can use that, okay? We're just going to talk about people today, all right? All right, so anyways, send me everybody send me a message in the chat room, okay? Todo mundo, hay una opción de chat aquí en, en Zoom. Necesito que me envíen un ejemplo todos, guys, ahorita en el chat de Zoom, okay? Got it? Okay. So everybody send a message in the chat in the, the chat room, guys. All right, meanwhile, um Meanwhile, uh, yes, Ernesto, give me one example, Ernesto. Well, I can use uh, whatever name, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, Dua Lipa, go ahead. Okay, uh, Luis was the one who, who gave me the keys. Who gave me the keys, very good. Good job, man, yes. good job. All right, hey, applause for Ernesto, guys. Well done, Ernesto, all right, I like that, all right. Uh, Luis was the one who, who gave me the keys. Now, let's identify this, okay? How many sentences do we have, Ernesto? Just one. One sentence, very good. How many clauses do we have? And we have two clauses. We have two clauses, okay? We have, which is the, the clause number one? Luis was the one, and the second is who gave me the keys. All right, very good. Luis was the one, and who gave me the, the keys? Where is the relative clause? I mean the pronoun. Where is, is that who? relative pronoun? Very good. Okay, it is who. Good job, man. You're pretty smart. Well done, brother. Good, good, good job. Okay, so it is, guys. It is boom. Okay, very good. Good job, man. Well done. Uh, Francisco, give me one example. Okay, let's try not to use the one anymore. Okay, let's use another, another example. Let's go, Francisco. My mother uh, cooked the dinner. My mother cooked, mm. no, not the dinner, okay, dinner, just dinner, sorry. Dinner. Uh, yes. Uh, she was the one who. <laughs> no. No. no, no my, mm. you can say my mother cooked. Now, here, because you're going to refer to specific dinner, you know, you can say that, right? My mother cooked that dinner that I ate, you can say this, okay? All right, mi mamá cocinó la comida que yo me comí, okay? All right, so if I say this, Francisco, how many sentences do I have? Two. Sentences, how many sentences do I have? Two, uh, one sentence, sorry. Only one sentence, okay? Uh, um, how many clauses do I have? Two clauses. I have two, right, which is the first one? Yeah, the first one is my mother cooked the dinner. Okay, you can see my mother cooked the dinner. All right, and the, the second one? I ate. That no, I ate. That I ate, okay, that I ate. Very good. Which is the relative pronoun here? Don't understand relative pronoun. Mm, that. Very good. It is that. Good job. Okay, so the relative pronoun, guys, is that. Okay. Well done. Oh. Right, so it's this right here. Good job, man. Good job. Okay. All right. Uh, who else wants to give me their example, guys? Who wants to give me their example? I like girls that are not too serious. Very good. Okay. I, I like. Okay. That's a good example. Okay. So let's 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 talk about that one. Okay. So it's uh, I like girls that are not too serious, okay? Very good. See, how many sentences do we have here? One. Okay, one. We, we have one sentence. How many clauses? Two, two clauses. We have two clauses, which is the first clause? I like girls. I like girls, okay, which is the second clause? That are not too serious. That are not too serious, very good. Which is the relative pronoun? That. All right, the relative pronoun is that. Good job. Well done. All right, very good. Okay, all right. Um, let's see, I'm gonna check your examples, guys. Monica says, I like people who love to travel, who love travel 
no okay it's like this i like people who love to travel okay you have two verbs together you have to use an infinitive okay monica but other than that good job monica okay. um where 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 do you see the first clause the first i like people i like people very good the second one who love to travel very good the relative pronoun who the relative pronoun who? Oh, who, who? I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I thought that you were asking, you know? <laughs> yes, all right. It is who. Thank you. Thank you, Monica. All right. Uh, <laughs> all right. David says Maradona was a player who won a World Cup. Good job, David. Uh, guys, punctuation, okay? Even if it's just an exercise, I needed to use right punctuation. Usen puntuación, guys, okay? Because otherwise, that's how you write in real life, and it's, it looks like a kid, okay? Like a kid writing, okay? So make sure you use right um, punctuation. Marcos, uh, I like going out with people who like beer. Hey, you are one of my people, man. <laughs> All right, Adrian, I like girls that are not too serious. Haiti, I like people who enjoy, who enjoy read books. What's wrong with this, guys? I like people who enjoy read books. What, what's wrong with that sentence? I told you I was going to help you with the corrections, right? So I, think it's, I think it's who? No, no, that's not that's who? not the mistake. Ah, I like to read. read. I like people who enjoy to oh, read, yeah. guys, okay? To read. Infinitive, to read books, okay? Or you can say, you know, who enjoy reading books. Uh, Jaren, okay? Good job. Uh, Maylin, uh, Roberto is... Roberto is kids who likes to play video game. No, I, I'm not sure what you want to say here. Maybe Roberto likes kids who like to play video games. No, that would be a good yes, example. Yes, sorry. All right, so like this, right? Roberto likes kids who like to play video games, okay? All right, very good. Uh, let's see, Maria Carlos was an actor who played the guitarist. Okay, the guitarist, is that a movie or something? Well, I don't know. Uh, the guitar. Carlos was an actor who played the guitar. Okay, All right, that, that guitar, okay. Francisco, David was teaching English that I learned. Yes. David, David now, now that, that is, David was teaching English. No, that doesn't sound right, man. David was teaching English that I learned there. David, David was teaching the English that I learned. You're missing the, 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 the article that. David was teaching the English that I learned because you're referring to a specific type of English, but that kind of doesn't make sense. Rafael, I was the one who haven't, I, I was the one who hasn't ate because you're referring to a third person. Okay. Okay, thank you. Very good, guys. Uh, I think you did great, guys. You did great. Okay. All right. So guys, um, questions so far? Any questions? Raise your hand, guys. All right. I like people who like to dance. Yes, Nori. Thank you. Questions, guys? Can I ask you if I if we, mm. if we had a quiz today, guys, would you would you get a ten? Mm. All right. Tomorrow, guys, tomorrow we are going to practice, okay? Tomorrow we're, there's going to be more practice, okay? But I, I'm, I'm, honest, I'm honestly asking you guys, okay? If you have a question right now, if there is something that you need to re-explain, go ahead, guys. You can ask me. If, if you need more examples, I think I gave you a lot of examples. You guys gave me lots of, lots of examples, too. But if you need more examples, guys, you know, please bring up your, your ideas and I'll gladly answer them, okay? So, um... Is there anybody here who needs more examples? Is there anybody here who needs extra explanation? Um, what do you think, guys? I have a question because it, in my sentence, uh, how would it be the right way to, to say? Well, in your sentence? Like You're uh, referring to the specific type of English from someone, right? So. In your sentence, it would look something like this. I I learned the English. Mm. But it's, it's just, this is, doesn't sound right, man. 
I learned I learned English. Uh, no, man. In whatever way I think of, it doesn't make sense. Okay. Now you can say in your example. It would have been better to say, you know, I like the I English that David taught me, right? Or you, you can, or, or or your example was, I learned the English David taught me. But when you say the English here, you're actually referring to the way, you know, the way I taught you. Not not. It's not that we have multiple languages in English, right? It's just that you're referring the in the in the way, right? So your example, this would have been uh, better, but nobody says it's like this, man. Okay. But yeah, I mean, this is this is grammatically correct. Okay. All right. So this is so you were missing the the article. That that was it. The, the, you were just missing the article. That. Okay. Sounds good. Any other question, guys? All right. So how do you rate the topic, guys? From one to ten, guys. From one being, I don't know, el bicho. All right. So let's say that from el bicho to number ten being who, guys? Sue. All right. To uh to okay. So Sue. All right. So how much how much did you understand this topic? Quanto de vieron este topic? Sue or el bicho? <laughs> <laughs> How much do you understand it, guys? From one to ten. Ten. All right, we're good. Two. Two. <laughs> All right. All right. Anyways, guys. So, um, um, I hope, guys, that you took notes. Uh, tomorrow, guys, I'll see you again, and uh, we'll go over the exercises tomorrow. Okay. This we're gonna have practice and exercises tomorrow. If you don't have any further questions, guys. I'll let you go now. It's been a pleasure, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye.